Hello folks, this is Tony Drake from Drake & Associates with an update on the market volatility in the recent weeks. After months of relative calm, market fluctuations are causing many investors to wonder what's happening to the economy. During times like these, viewing events in their proper context is imperative. This video is an effort to provide you with some clarity and perspective as we move forward. The market started 2018 with the wind in their sails and investors watched as indices continued their nearly straight up trajectory from 2017. Then after the S&P 500's best January performance since 1997, stocks have been taking a big dive at the beginning of February. On Monday, February 5th, the Dow and S&P 500 each lost more than 4% and the Nasdaq's drop was nearly as significant. The next day, all three indices posted positive returns. We understand how unnerving these fluctuations can feel, especially headlines shouting fear-inducing statistics. Our goal is to help you better understand where the markets stand today and how to apply this knowledge to your own financial life. When markets post dramatic losses or whipsaw back and forth, many people wonder what causes the turbulence and many assume negative financial data has to be to blame. However, the recent sell-off and volatility don't have the culprits you might expect. No negative economic update or geopolitical drama emerged to spur the sell-off on February 5th and 6th. Instead, emotion-driven investing may have combined with computer-generated trading to fuel the decline. In particular, after the latest labor report showed wage growth picking up more than expected, some investors ban began to worry about increasing inflation. Higher wages means companies have to raise their prices to support their labor costs, a cycle that can cause inflation to grow. While concerns about inflation and interest rates may be to blame for the market fluctuations, it may not be the only detail to focus on. Another key point is important to remember as an investor is volatility is really normal. Average intraday decline since 1980, the S&P 500 has experienced an average correction each year of approximately 14 percent. But in 2017, the markets were unusually calm, fluctuating only 3 percent. Before this recent decline, the S&P 500 had gone more than 400 days without losing over 5 percent. Now that's the longest span in history since the 50s. Our takeaway, market fluctuates, and the recent lack of volatility is what's truly unusual. Percentages versus points is really important. Many news articles mention that the Dow's 1175 point drop on February 6 was the highest decline in history. Now, while this statement is true, it leaves out a key detail. The higher an index goes, the smaller a percentage its total for each point represents. In other words, 1,175 points doesn't have the same impact at 25,000 that it does at 10,000. Our takeaway, focus on percentages, not points, to gain a clearer view of market performance. Now let's talk about recovery from bad days. The S&P 500 fell 4.1% on February 5th, but within one day it regained 1.7. This performance surpasses historical data. If you analyze the S&P 500's 15 worst days where the index lost an average of 8.16%, stocks were still in negative territory one day later. But in 13 instances, stocks were back up within a year, about 21%. They were always in positive territory five years later. The takeaway is even when stocks lose more ground than they just did, they recover in positive performance returns. In August of 2011, the S&P 500 lost 6.66% in one day. At that time, the European debt crisis was in full swing, the U.S. had lost its AAA credit rating, and the financial sector was reeling. Volatility measures indications that, ma that many investors were becoming worried. Facing that situation, impulses to leave the market and avoid further losses may have arisen for a lot of us. As is so often the case, however, staying invested really paid off. Only a year later, the S&P 500 had gained over 25%. Over short periods of time, the market trades on fear, anxiety, greed, and even emotion. Over the long term, however, economic fundamentals drive the markets. Thankfully, a variety of data indicate that the economy continues to grow. The labor market 
added 200,000 new jobs in January and beat expectations. Average hourly wages also increased, bringing 2.9% growth in the last year, the largest rise since 2008 to 2009. What about corporate earnings? Well, a lot of the, the majority of the S&P 500 companies who have reported their fourth quarter results have beaten their earnings estimates. For the service sector, the latest reading of what's called ISM Non-Manufacturing Index, now that tracks performance and expectations for service sector businesses, hit its best level since 2005. Now how about us as consumers? Well, the most recent data indicates that personal income and spending are on the rise. As investors try to determine whether inflation is on the rise and higher interest rates are imminent, we could definitely see some volatility continue. After last year's smooth sailing in the markets, these fluctuations may feel harder to withstand. The reality is equities don't move up in a straight line. Even if volatility is here to stay, we know that price changes can provide new market opportunities. I agree with the economists at First Trust who assert that more economic growth will ultimately be a tailwind for equities, not a headwind. I really encourage you to focus on your long-term goals rather than short-term fluctuations. As you do, avoid allowing emotions to derail your plans. I also want you to feel comfortable in your financial journey. If your thoughts on risk have changed, give us a call so we can help you find the best path forward. As always, we're always here to provide you with clarity, perspective, and support during every market environment. Thank you for the confidence you place in our abilities. I truly consider it a privilege to be a good steward of the assets that you entrust in our care. Once again, this is Tony Drake from Drake & Associates signing off on our market volatility update. Please remember that nothing we talk about here in this video is a recommendation. If you'd like to discuss your personal financial situation, please give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you. That's it. Thanks.